Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, January 22nd. Okay, so. All right, I had to take a little deep breath on that. So I think that if, if some of us feel lost, right? Know that we only become lost when we're trying to get somewhere that quite frankly, we were not destined to, to get to, right? Not destined to be. So that's sometimes how it feels when we feel lost because we actually are trying to get, we are trying to get somewhere where perhaps we're not supposed to even, it's not our destiny, right? So let's try to make life move through us, which means go with the flow, right? Let's try to go with the flow and surrender. Feel yourself floating on water. I don't know why I'm saying that. I think because of all the alignments of the planets, there's a lot of heavy, still some heaviness. And now that there's no planets retrograde, we're feeling like there's we have to get this done and that done. And that, that anxiousness makes us make decisions not based on the flow of life. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's see what the universe has to say for today. All right. Um, Wednesday, January 22nd. Strength is needed for sure, right? Whew. I feel like a lot of us are feel like you're drowning, right? But you're not. You're not drowning. You just need to know that you have the strength. You have to allow to surrender, right? You have to look beyond the veil of what you think and what in, instead feel your way like this beautiful tiger, right? Have the strength of a tiger and the softness of a deer, right? Okay, so we have the queen of pentacles, which clearly this depicts a groundedness of giving and receiving love. And this queen is looking right at the strength. So a Virgo Taurus Capricorn is needing straight strength for something if this is in your chart. Or if this is just you, you're you're looking at your own strength, right? It you don't have to be an earth sign per se, but you are looking at your own strength, saying, Okay, I need to be strong and I need to be devoted to what I'm doing right now and to keep my foundation and security and stability in in check right? Okay. So if you are a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, you're finding the strength more, more so, right? To stay grounded, to stay, uh, you know, put together, right? Keeping it together, keeping it together. Okay. If you are trying to financially stabilize your life, the universe is just saying in general, let's Let's, will you have the strength to do that? No need to fear or worry about it, right? And don't be all up in your, in yourself about it because this is yourself. So it, what's good about this is it's reversed. So there's no internal chaos, right? We know changes are happening. We do. We know changes are happening. We know things are gonna work out, but we need to also maintain our strength and stability in the process of, look at 
we're working really hard, working hard to find, find, um, well, working hard at your own job, whatever that is. But if you're in, if you're not employed and you're looking for a job, you're doing a really good job. It's, you're working really hard to do so. Yeah. Um, if you're, you're also working hard to not let it get the best of you, right? So there's a lot of different scenarios when we must find our strength and stability to push ahead and keep going, right? And not do it in a way that's going to distract our success and allowing to surrender that success to come to us. Look at that. Now that is beautiful. Okay, so now it, what's really beautiful is the king and queen show up, right? So there is financial abundance to be had. There is security. There is going to be a very blessed situation where where a soul counterpart per se couples working together this could be you're working together and gaining strength and momentum in whatever project you're working on you could have been fighting for a while like not seeing eye to eye about a situation financially this is all financial this is about having a job getting a job Someone may be receiving a job within within the next eight days, um, finding the strength, knowing it's happening, knowing that your hard work is paying off. Um, it, it could be the masculine and feminine is coming into union with something. You're stronger now than ever because you're allowing the universe to show you the way and finding the strength, you know, in yourself also. So... This could be, for sure, a couple working together to be stronger. It, like, you're stronger together, right? Working together makes you stronger. Working as a team and not fighting over, well, I don't think it should be done this way and, you know, nitpicking, right? Working together for the greater good. The cause is to be devoted um, from a place of from a place of nurturing. So this is like if this is a couple working together, you're nurturing each other and now abundant working together to nurture one another to make that happen, whatever it is, be it a business, be it to uh, you know to gain strength in the business, starting a business, working hard together um okay so now it's interesting because i saw i see the lenormand the Le in this card i've never seen this before there's a bird here in the bird this is a bird um these are two birds actually, or two or three birds, right? So this is a message of money coming in as well, just so you know. So within the next week, eight days here, right? There could be messages of money coming in, which brings some someone much stability, happiness, and growth. It could be a business. It could be <clears throat> it could be finalizing something in eight days. It could be receiving money in eight days that you've been waiting for. Um, in any event, it's coming. It's coming. Yes. Here it is. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So the victory is that surrendering, finding the strength to not try to manipulate a situation financially brings you great victory. Just taking, you know, literally taking your hands off the wheel and not fighting, not not fighting how it's going to look, how it's going to be received, but it is ultimately going to be received, right? Beautiful. 
within the next week. Money's coming in for those. A job offer is coming in for many. Okay, whoever's looking for a job. Um, let's see. A message of money coming in for sure here within a week. And we do have two eights. So eight is all about as above, so below, and that is the message from the universe. Two eights. Okay? So that's the abundance that's coming in from the universe. And you've had you've you've endured, you've been strong, you've been waiting to receive money or a or a job or hear something. And in one week's time, you're going to have exactly that. And that's why you're victorious, because you didn't push against the grain. You went with the flow. It wasn't an easy decision to do, for sure, right? You had to make a decision. Like, do I go against the grain, or do I go take, the, do I take this opportunity to take, you know, another few interviews, um, you know, whatever message of money came in, you had to make that decision to let go and be strong. I mean, for sure, you had to be strong. And the universe wanted to see the trust, the trust, okay? So you've, you've been able to now, as you move up spiritually, it has, it has risen, you have risen to a new level of understanding right? You've risen to a new level of understanding that you can't go to, like you may be ready to go to the bus stop, and but the bus isn't coming until tomorrow. It's kind of like that, right? That's the analogy. You know, you had to allow, you had to find out the schedule before you get to where you're going. No more feeling left out in the cold. So you're not going to go you're not going to allow yourself to go to this, this anguish and grief of not being enough because you are enough and you're receiving the money uh, before you felt like this though, right? It's reversed. So you're having, you're, you're being reborn into, um, some of you are being reborn into, which we've seen this before, Mother Earth being reborn and replenished, I'm hearing. This is replenishing of giving and receiving of love, hence, hence the love of something that you needed to let go of and be strong. And in doing so, now you are able to receive, right? You let go. You let go. You didn't go to the bus stop because it, it wasn't time, right? And now you have merged, literally merging the masculine and the feminine together, allowing so much strength and surrender, which brings you vict victory for sure. And this is the rebirth. This is like, this is where, what, like I said in the, in the intro, you're only lost when you weren't supposed to get to a destination that you thought you were, right? You needed to surrender and let, life move through you so that you could receive a new job. You know, you had to let go of this. You had to, you had to let go. And that's the surrender. And it gave you the strength to say, okay, I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust. And then this is how the replenishing comes in to play, right? It wasn't easy. I mean, for sure. It is not easy to, to, to try to change your perspective when you've always thought, oh my God, how am I going to control this situation? How am I going to get that job? How am I going to get that money? Whatever. You had to rise up to the occasion, literally, and stop putting yourself in this mode of mentality, right? It's, it's, a, it's a choice, but you rose to the occasion and being victorious now and strong knowing that this was part of your growth. This is part of your growth of understanding that if you just allow Mother Earth to replenish, let her show you the way. 
intuition, strong intuition and knowing that it was going to happen. Okay, so deep down inside, we always know. We know the answers. We know, we know. That's all I can say. The Queen of Cups always knows, right? There's, a, there's like a nonverbal communication within self that the replenishing is coming, yeah? We know. We know that we're that we value that we're valued. We know the universe values us. But you had to let go. You had to just let go and change that perspective. It was a choice. You had to get out of your head and allow allow being lost for a while. Right? You had to allow Get, giving yourself a chance, to, which made you ultimately stronger. It has. And the universe knows that you are working hard to receive this money, this job, whatever it is, to become whole again, grounded and stable within your own self, right? This is also about believing in yourself as well, because you are, you are, from Mother Earth. We are all abundant here. And we always replenish. Universe always provides. But we have to have strength and belief in that. We have to choose. And that's what you've done in order to become successful. Okay? All right. Let's get three cards. See? You know that that's how the universe works. It is. You have to believe it with your body, mind, and soul. You have to have that within you. All right, three cards. Okay, I knew we knew this was going to come out, didn't we? It just happened. It just happened because we knew. It's a knowing. It's the Queen of Swords, or I'm sorry, Queen of um, Queen of Cups. Knowing. It's going to happen. Not fearing anything any longer. Releasing any fears, uh, any doubts. That's what this is. Releasing it. Letting it go. Allowing. Right? Allowing. No fear. Just knowing. And that's the truth. Allowing the universe to show you the truth of this situation. And we have two twos. 20 and the two. Look it. And today is the 22nd. Wow. All right. I love it. This could come sooner than I, sooner than expected, which it is. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to stick with the eight days. Okay. You guys, if you're waiting for a job offer, a job opportunity, money coming in within the next week, within the week. Okay. One card from the Ascended Masters. There we go. Saint Germain. This is a karmic cleansing of sort. Releasing. Because this is... This surrendering and letting life move through you. And knowing what... Knowing what maybe you feel your destiny is going to happen. And the universe ha has to show you the way. And you allowing that is the releasing of a, a karmic... Um, another karmic lesson that it's easier to let life move you to where you're destined to be instead of going to the bus stop and waiting for a bus that's not coming. I don't know why I'm using that analogy, but it's whatever. You get it. Move beyond drama, which there has been. Moving beyond drama and creating your own path and making room for good energy. And that is the lesson. These are small little lessons. And I say small, but they're really not. This is a huge lesson. So for those that this applies to, congratulations. Talk to you later.